the real things you should learn and the skills you should focus on during your college life. In this video, let us talk about it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is CSB, and I welcome you all to the first ever episode of CSB Talks. This will be a series of videos in which I'll be sharing with you guys as much valuable information as I possibly can such that it will be useful for you guys. And at the same time, I will make sure that the episodes are uh, not boring and, uh, you know, entertaining. In case you guys are watching me for the first time, I was the Clash Toll State Board Topper 100% in MPC back in the day during my time. I also got a rank of 827 in MSET, which is the Andhra Pradesh state-wise entrance examination which was attempted by over 2.5 lakhs people. And right now I'm pursuing BTEC and as you can see from my old videos, I am maintaining very good grades and at the same time I am maintaining a YouTube channel and I am running both of them parallelly very decently. I'm a third year BTEC guy and I have experienced a lot during my BTEC journey and in this video, I would like to share with you guys the real things you should focus on during your college time. So watch the video completely and let me know if this video is useful in the comment section down below. So let us begin the video. So all the BTEC entrance examinations are over and you guys are now admitted into some colleges, right? When you are at your class 11 or at your intermediate first year, all of you guys will have a goal to, you know, get into IITs and NITs and very few of you might have actually gone into those colleges and most of you guys uh, would have been joined in private colleges, right? Guys, let me tell you, just because you did not get IITs or NITs doesn't mean you are a failure. Not at all. This is the first point I wanted to make. It doesn't make much difference at all. In BTEC 4 years, the subject you got here matters. That's it. The college and all, yes, they play a minor role during placements, but it doesn't really affect your career adversely just because you did not get IITs or NITs. So first of all, do not feel depressed just because you did not get IITs or NITs and it's completely fine. Even in my case, I got NITs, okay? I got NITs. For my JE main rank, I got NITs. But I joined in a private college because uh, it is near to my house. Trust me, well-renowned private colleges are equally good. So uh, do not even think much about the college. Okay, so the first and foremost thing you should focus on while being in your college is to improve your public speaking skills. The way you present yourself in front of a group of people really matters a lot. You should get rid of stage fear and this can only be achieved through practice. Yes, of course, in the beginning you will be very scared and all. For example, have a look at the first speech which I have given. Yes, guys, that was the speech. That was the speech. That's it. As you can see, the words just won't come out. Like, I have prepared for this speech for 30 minutes and look what happened. Once you go on the stage, you will just forget everything and it will become blank here. And it was so cringy and awkward. And finally, I did this. It was so awkward. And look at me now. Look at me now, man. Look at the obvious difference. I think I'm way better than that now, I guess. And this only happened because of me focusing on public speaking for almost two years. I am way more confident in myself now while giving a speech when compared to back in the day. <laughs> Looking back at it, I, I cringed to myself till this day. I purposefully asked my friend to uh, record the speech and I thought it would go well and this happened. From this, it is evident that through practice, anything is possible. Anybody can become better at giving speeches and you should focus on it such that it will be really helpful for you. Public speaking is a really important life skill and if you work on it, you will get better at it, just like me. The next thing to focus on is networking. Try to make contacts with a lot of people, with seniors, with faculties. The seniors will guide you. If you have any doubts in academics or if you have any doubts related to college, you can go and consult the 
seniors and of course they will help you and if you are in good relation and if you have contacts with the staff of the university they will highly help you during placements or for example if you get into any trouble etc 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 so knowing a lot of people and having contacts with a lot of people is highly essential the next very important thing to focus is to destroy your ego get rid of your ego just kick it there there is no need of ego it doesn't do anything good for you this is a problem which a lot of students face and you should get rid of it for example if a teacher points out a mistake which has been done by a student in front of the whole class you know a lot of students will be egoistic and they they will just go crazy they just cannot accept criticism this is something you should really focus on and try to change one of my inspirations conor mcgregor the biggest superstar of mma once said we either win or we learn stay humble in either victory or a defeat you know sometimes things will not go according to the plan and we will completely mess up the situation and somebody will shout at you at these times stay humble do not be egoistic accept your mistakes take the criticism understand where you did things wrong such that you can correct yourself and next time you can be better einstein also once said more the knowledge less the ego less the knowledge more the ego so people getting rid of your ego you know throwing it away from your life is extremely important the next thing to focus is friendships and bonds i would say i have a university full of friends but only a handful a bunch of close friends with whom i can share everything and anything do maintain friendly relationships with everyone and anyone but do find those set of people who are exactly as stupid as you and form a batch such that you can share your journey with them you can spend time with them sharing your college journey with a bunch of friends will make it 100 times easier and entertaining and funny than it actually is you can also share a lot of things with friends which you can't even share with parents so do take some time off your busy schedule and spend it with your friends go hang out have some jokes and have fun this is one of the key aspects of college life which everybody should give importance to <laughs> these will be the memories of college life being in a relationship or not is completely up to you but having a bunch of besties is extremely extremely important the next thing to focus on is time management from the time you wake up to the time you sleep give enough time for studies for entertainment for exercise for everything manage your time properly and for this to happen what i personally do is to make out a list of all the important tasks which i'm supposed to do every single day in the morning and i will try my best to complete these important tasks first and once they are done i can spend the rest of the time for having fun for playing games for spending time with my friends etc for example take a look at my checklist for today making a checklist of tasks to be done in every single day and actually trying to complete all the tasks will be very helpful and make your life more organized for example you will be having deadlines for assignments project submissions etc if you maintain a checklist like this all these kind of tasks can be done on date the next thing to focus is to develop a skill try to develop a skill which you can monetize guys we are now in the era of social media there are infinite number of legal ways of making money online and for all these first of all you should have some skills for example learn some high level coding language or maybe learn video editing or maybe web development graphic designing etc 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 develop some skills such that you can do freelancing online and make some additional revenue this is something regarding which neither the professors nor the parents talk about because this is something new for example the funny meme videos i make on youtube they make me some additional money isn't that an amazing thing to make revenue out of entertainment i will talk in detail regarding this in the upcoming videos but for now get the point do develop some skills which you can monetize and last but not least we have of course academics the whole point of this video is to actually show you guys that academics is not everything once you come to btech the grades alone will not define you but still you should not neglect academics you should maintain a cgpa of at least 8.5 or about to 
get good placements in good companies and for that to happen you should spend considerable amount of time studying so do give some time for studies every single day in your timetable such that you don't have to worry just before the examination so this is coming from a good student let me tell you academics is not everything in btech of course but academics does have an important role so do allot some time in your daily schedule for studying well guys these are some of the things which i have figured out all by myself and learned during my college life and i thought it would be really helpful by sharing these with you guys such that you guys can have a better college life packed with both fun and productivity well that's everything i have for today thank you guys for watching the video hope you guys liked it if you like the video please show some support leave a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends this makes the youtube algorithm to promote the video and this will be very helpful for me on this channel i usually make funny student related meme videos and informational videos like this so if you are interested in either of these do consider subscribing that's everything i have for today i'll see you guys in the next video and right now i will take the teddy for a walk bye